Isha una ke Ta iona Bataruna pe Ke ona se Go to the edge Don't look back And don't look forward Just stand at the edge Being content Not afraid Not taking a step just being on the edge, just being. No thinking, no doing, no imagining, no anticipation, just being on the edge in stillness, trusting that you are in the right place. You are shrouded in darkness on the edge you don't know where you are and you don't know where you are going. Now take a deep breath and feel the intensity of just being on the edge. You have surrendered to all that is human and you stand content on the edge of what you do not know or cannot fathom. As you let go of the fear and all the other feelings that pour through you, there is something that begins to come over you, a feeling you are not familiar with in human form. Is this what people describe when having a near-death experience? You don't know where you are. You don't know who you are. Are you form or formless? Or are you both? But slowly, a strong sense washes over you. A sense that it doesn't really matter. Nothing really matters. Where you are, who you are, where you are going, all melts away. You begin to feel reassured that all is okay. Actually, much better than okay. All is wonderful. All is blissful. A strong tingling comes over you. The darkness of being on the edge has disappeared and been replaced with a strong light. The light is so bright you cannot see anything. You cannot see your form, your body. You are there, but the form of you is not. There is a sound a powerful sound reverberating all around you. You can feel the sound. It's pulsing strongly. It is as if a thousand orchestras were playing at the same time, totally in harmony with each other. The light gets stronger and you begin to sense colors. You cannot distinguish the colors. They are coming and going so quickly. The colors too have a very strong vibration, like nothing you have ever experienced. The sound and the colored lights all moving so quickly, pulsing, vibrating, moving so fast. It is as if they were still movement and stillness all at once. And then a very strong feeling, something you have never experienced in human form comes over you. Could this be unconditional love? You don't know. It feels so much more than any word could describe. Is it bliss, 
peace, tranquility, harmony. No, it is more, much more. It continues to grow in amplitude, in strength. How could something so powerful grow? How could it get bigger? Maybe it isn't. It just seems like it is. And then the powerful sounds, the vibrant colors, the feeling of, well, you are not sure how to describe the feeling. All come together as one. There is no distinction between the sound, the colored light, and the feeling. They are not separate things. They are one. And you are part of this oneness. No, you are not part of it. You are the oneness. And suddenly, it all makes sense. All that you never understood or could not comprehend is clear, crystal clear. There are no questions. The answers, the answers to everything are evident and it feels pure and it feels right. No doubt, no wondering, all the answers clear as can be. But then, as quickly as it seemed to begin, it was over. You were back on the edge. You feel your human form. You sense the darkness all around you. The fears, apprehensions, the doubt, the nothingness of standing on the edge are all there again. Was it all just a dream? Did you really experience it all? You can't even really remember what occurred. Was there light? Many colors? Was there sound? Was there a strong feeling you had never felt before? Did you really experience anything? Or were you just standing on the edge the whole time? You take a deep breath and it all feels okay. There is a sense of contentment that comes over you. The need to know what happened simply melts away. It just doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. In that moment, nothing seems to matter. And then a faint remembering arises a faint familiarity, a recognizing. What was it? Maybe it is this feeling that it just doesn't matter. That feeling is familiar. It feels comforting. How can that be? How can the feeling that nothing matters be comforting? That is not humanly possible. For in human form, everything matters. How could a feeling that nothing matters feel familiar and reassuring? Maybe you weren't dreaming. Maybe you did cross over behind the veil. Maybe you went from form to formless, but you get the sense that you will never know for sure. Maybe, just maybe, if your experience was real, you will someday remember it more vividly. Maybe your journey to the beyond will help you in your human sojourn in some way. Maybe your human life will begin to make more sense. And if not, so be it. Maybe it just doesn't matter. <laughs>